one more. Last one. Last one. For sure, last one. I'm gonna go eat that food. I have to do much more today. Oh boy. We're rolling in, boys. Finally. Glasses. <laughs> Choose your Tinder picture. A uh, pic old picture of Mahmoud, the picture of Richard, a picture of an Arab model, actual honest picture. And uh, we're not gonna do the honest one, boys. That one looks rough. Uh, the model or the old picture? <laughs> let's, let's just lie. <laughs> Again, catfishing. Catfishing? It's never gonna happen. You're gonna turn up and she's gonna realize it's not you. But at least she turns up. And then she'll turn around and walk out the door. What if you're the most ugly man in the world, but you really want to use Tinder? I don't know. I have nothing to say to that. There you go. See? There it's you go. Good. Got it's her. work for you. Damn, those tunes. They lower the volume a bit, though. What venue do you choose? Out for a drink at a hip bar. Dr dive bar for millennials or fancy restaurant? That's just to do hip bar. What well, was wrong? See, oh now my this God. one's wrong, and it's because it's one of those situations where he's going to be in the aisle, in the bar looking like a granddad, oh. which oh, is yeah, not good because so. he no. is kind of of the granddad Oops. age. No, it's not the message we want to put across, oh, right? No, can do much better. Okay, fancy restaurant. Then eat the surplus. So yeah, if you're months. kind of an older, cool guy, I think. A restaurant is a solid one, especially compared to some environment where it might seem old, like a trendy bar. Yeah, and also if you are very clever with where you pick, I think that shows a little bit more thoughts just gone into it rather than just the fanciest restaurant or most popular. So, Mahmoud, what's going on? Uh, Richard, I'm, I'm busy today, you know, yeah, I have yeah. the business day. meetings. Well. I've got a date with a beautiful mm. American mm. girl tonight. Okay. You know me. What's she look like? She's beautiful. Of beautiful, course. Beautiful, blonde. Yeah. Beautiful booby boobies. Big boobs? Big boobs. All right. Boobs. <laughs> What's the game plan? The game plan is I will go, meet her, seduce her, mm -hmm. and slay her. But what, is she intelligent? Because that, oh. that could be. You know me, Richard. As long as she has a nice personality, that's all that counts. <laughs> Wicked, a nice one. I think you got it all under control, so I wish you good luck. Can you let me know how it goes. Yeah, and I will. I will but, call you. But don't send me the pictures like you did last time. I don't need to what, see with the horses, uh, with all of that and oh, okay. Other you know, uh, you know I mean, what I mean. Okay, keep that to yourself. Good okay, luck, mate. Richard. See ya. Salam alaikum. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Max. Yalla! Yalla! Please be seated. <laughs> the picture, oh no. You don't look like your photo. <laughs> deny, deny, deny. Call her out on her shallowness. Admit the mistake to your PA, apologize. You don't look like your pick either, you're older. But <laughs> all these feel wrong. No, 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 no. Which one is right then? Which one is the most wrong? I don't even know. A. Okay, we'll try A. We'll insult her. 
I don't look like my photo. There's no way this is you. Yeah, it, it is me. You lied as well. You, you, you said you were 23. You're at least 24 and a half. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And I'm still gonna be beautiful when I'm 25. Yeah, but we could be beautiful together. There is no together. No together? I don't think so. You lied to me. Why are you being so negative? I'm not. You're being a trickster. Trickster? What? I'm Mahmoud. You know no. who Mahmoud is? No, this is weird. And you this know? must be a joke. No, it's not a joke. You're being deluded. I'm deluded? Yeah, you watch too much CNN. They brainwash you. I don't watch CNN. <laughs> Fox. Fox, no. No, this is ridiculous. I don't think so. You're being ridiculous. You wasted my time. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Do not walk one foot outside this restaurant. Hey, hey, come here. Hey, <laughs> Wait up. Come here. Hey. You stupid whore. Oh. Mahmoud lost. Ooh. It's not very flattering. Bit rude? Very rude. And you shouldn't discuss a woman's age, right? No, never. Never? Never. Mm -hmm. Don't even say it. Oh, I wasn't going to. Mm -hmm. I'm curious now. Okay. I made a mistake by your PA. I apologize. Deny, deny, deny. I'm just going to deny, boys. Just deny all the way. It is me. There's no way this is you. Yeah, that is definitely me, you know, in 1982. 1982? I wasn't even alive in 1982. Hey, what a great year. I, I, I shall <laughs> tell you all about it. Sit down. <laughs> okay. Please, just five minutes. Oh. I would really love it. It worked. Okay. But only for five minutes. Well, thank oh, you, my we're in. Five minutes. So, obviously, it's not him. So, Mahmoud could have been better here, right? Yeah. Denying it when it's obviously not him. It doesn't really show that he's truthful and an honest human being. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe not human that much being. in. Human being or being? I knew you were going to pick me up on that one. Human being? Yes. Human being. Soya bean. Emma, how about some tea? Sure. Tea for two. I think we should get some shisha. They do lovely strawberry and daffodil. Mm. Um, yalla! <laughs> hey, pronto! Yes, sir? My child, strawberry and daffodil shisha for me and my princess. Pronto! Yes, sir. Easy. Fish antics, thanks for six months. Thank you for the streams, my precious. Ask her if she's still a virgin. Oh, boy. Validator for not being judgmental and shallow like most women her age. That's pretty good. Give her lots of compliments and make her feel good. They're gonna scare her off. Compliment her by telling her she looks like your daughter. <laughs> Alright, we're doing A first. Am I you still a virgin? What? I'm not answering that question. That's a straightforward question. It's none of your business. You have to answer the question. I'm not going to answer that question. If you want to be whore number 13, you have to answer now! You're <laughs> fucking disgusting. I'm you gone. fucking stupid whore! Oh, you wasted my off. fucking time? Yeah, cool. Great. You'll never walk Go again buy in this town. I don't give a fuck. You silly bitch! Or number 13, huh? If only she knew. <laughs> Gross. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. <laughs> Alright, okay, validator for not being judgmental and shallow like oh, Okay. Let's just do... let's just do B right away. Emma, I need to compliment you on your character. Is, you made uh, such a good decision in staying and you made Mahmoud very happy today. Oh boy. I think that, you know, this is a very special moment for both of us. Well, I appreciate the compliment. I try to give everyone a second chance. Your inner beauty shines through. Mahmoud, Thank the seducer. You. Cheers. Cheers. Those bloody judgmental shallow women, yeah? Flattery 101. <laughs> so, Mahmoud, what do you do for a living? <laughs>
Oh, here we go, dude. Finally, she asks. Listen, I didn't hear come, come here to talk business with a woman. I'm passionate about what I do and I try to make a difference. Say you have a family b business. YKK Zips. I'm not sure what that means. Tell her not to worry about money, that you'll like, uh, look after her. Eh? Alright, guys. Let's trigger some people here. I didn't come here to discuss business with a woman. Excuse me? I mean, it's easier to teach a camel algebra. Oh, oh it's my. easier to teach a camel algebra than it is to teach you manners, and I'd rather be with them. Mahmoud, me, business guru, Richard Branson, the stupid virgin, called me for business tips. I'm leaving. You leaving? I'm gonna ride my How camel. How dare you? Yeah, well, fuck off then. Mahmoud, no. So do you agree with Mahmoud on this one, Charlotte? No, I don't, and I'm not surprised in the slightest why this didn't work. Could we talk about business? Of course. Okay. All right, we'll do the... I don't know what YKK Zips is, but I want to see what it is. Oh, I thought he would zip up his flyer. Thing. We have a family business which we have been running for generations, my great, 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 great grandfather. Really? What kind of business? YKK Zips. Uh, I have a zipper run there on the back of my dress right now. Well, now it's because of Mahmood. You can <laughs> take off and put on your clothing. Oh my it's god, that is so funny. That's cool. That's a good flex. <laughs> can you get me any free zippers? <laughs> Excellent. I mean, you know, that's uh, maybe not the very best answer, but it's funny because either she catches you out and knows you're joking and you have a little laugh, or she doesn't Wait, I'm not realize joking. that you're joking and thinks you really do own YKK Zips, and then it's just ridiculous. Yeah, I've never heard of YKK Zips. Really? Yeah. It's almost every zip. No, I'm of a button girl. Buttons. Okay. Okay. Emma, did I tell you that I'm a trained uh, physician? No. Yeah, I like to help out in the community when I can. It's oh, wonderful. <laughs> okay, here we go. Please, I am ready for you. Remove the beautiful dress and prepare for your examination. Your chair is waiting. <laughs> so, Mahmoud, what do you like to do in your spare time? Emma, this is not about Mahmoud. This is about you. What do you like to do? Me? I like to read, I like to write, I like to dance. Dance? What yeah. type of dancing? Uh, mostly ballet. Ballet? Yeah. Russian ballet? I've never seen I'm Russian going to book ballet. us some tickets. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Okay, make an assumption about her based on her interests. Ask her if she's ever had sex with a horse. Forget all this reading and writing bullshit. You like horses? <laughs> Look at his eyes. Have you ever had sex on a horse? <laughs> what? Or with a horse? Oh, only what? on Wednesdays. <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Emma! Emma! Go! Emma! So late! Go! Emma! <laughs> Emma! Emma! Oh no. So random. It's a true story. I had a friend um, from Syria and he was telling me how, yeah, he was telling me how cool it was to have sex on a horse. Right. And he how invited fascinating. me to Syria because he's got stables. Uh -huh. I, he wasn't gay, but it was. Strange. Sure. Very, very strange. I mean, it didn't I mean with him, the sex on the horse. I gathered that one. Maybe because when it moves, it kind of wobbles and it's... Mm. I don't know. Okay. So you like to read, which means you're intelligent. You like to write, which means you're curious. And you like ballet. Why don't I believe him at all? You are cultured. Am I right? I'm sorry for my mood. 
And I'm not being patronizing. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> That's the right answer. Um, making assumptions is a nice way to break up the questions and statements that you might otherwise have. And it's cool because when you try to make assumptions, you're obviously going to need to listen well. And you're, if you get it right, it's impressive. If you don't, it at least shows you're making an attempt to connect and to listen. OK. This place is really cool. I've never been anywhere like it. I only dine in the finest places. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> Your hookah, please. So your daughter is beautiful, sir. Oh. Oh, Mahmoud is mad now. You fucked up, dude. This is evil eyes right here. I'm gonna kill you. Call in your security guard and offer a threesome. Ask you about your future, about his future career plans. Wait, which one is right here? Like, we'll just see, because it's obviously wrong, but yeah, I want to see the other one. I have a great idea. He's a good-looking boy. The threesome. Me at the front, him at the back. That will be the best orgy ever. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got sick. Um, yeah, I have a better idea. You two guys can fuck each other, and I'm leaving. It was just a suggestion. You don't have to walk off! It was just a suggestion. You to join me? Uh, never do that. Threesomes or waiters or anything, yeah? What do you think? Vile. Vile. Okay. Which one is, which one is better, A or B? I don't know what I would be. I, I think he's gonna destroy him, right? He's gonna like, oh, you're fired, bro. B is better? Alright, let's do B. Thank you for the compliment, my boy. Um, I know you want to date her. You're not in a very good job. What career options do you have? Uh, uh, uh. Don't worry yourself. Have a little think. Come back when you're ready. Okay? <laughs> yeah, you got fucked. Poor guy. Nice one. That's a cool way to kind of put him on the spot. You know, this young guy comes like that, and how can you make him a little bit uncomfortable and kind of show your power? That's the way. That's yep, the way. Yeah, take control of the situation. I suppose that's the best way to do it. I wanted to see the security one. So tell me, Mark, how old are you? <laughs> In my family. They say you're only as old as the sum of your child brides. Oh boy. <laughs> Tell her she's too young for you and ask whether she's mature. I'm 50, but I'm young and hard. Oh man. I gotta say you have help my In my family, me. you're only as old as the sum of all the child brides. Child brides, as in children. No, younger brides. You're married to kids? No, they are young. No. Children are such. disgusting. That's a. That's pedophilic. You're a pedophile. I'm not a pedophile. I gotta go. I've just got a lot of love to give everybody. I'm calling Interpol. Hey, calling who? I'm calling the cops. Bye. Hey, no, no need to call them. Emma! Disgusting. Disgusting. Close. Child brides. That's uh, pretty bad, yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Alright, let's just do fifth let's do the tell her she's too young for you and ask whether she's mature. Uh I think the right answer is actually B. I think you are too young for me, but you know, show me how mature you are. I think I'm pretty mature. I've gotten a master's in psychology. I volunteered in Africa wow. with the Red Cross and I think that's pretty mature. That is mature. I'm very impressed. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> I love this because there's obviously going to be a discussion of age at some point, and for the man to take control of that and spin it as her potentially being too young is a lot better than kind of leaving it and waiting for her to say, aren't you a bit old for me? Yeah, and also I think there's an element of her trying to prove 
that he, she's actually right and so that she is old enough and I like that. And there are genuinely two ways to see it. He could be too old or she could be too immature and young, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Correct body language to assume. High status, like you're interviewing someone for a job. Mirroring her to gain report. Okay, I want to see my woman sitting like that, I guess. Leaning in to show you're interested in listening to her and then rocking back so she invests. Licking your lip in a seductive way and blinking. <laughs> okay. Of course it's D. Oh, help, dude. <laughs> this is really creepy. Oh, yeah. Not really. Very creepy. Don't do it. Okay. I want to see this one. This is creepy, dude. So yeah, if you noticed in my office in the pharmaceuticals company, I've got the uh, NLP Master Practitioner Certificate proudly on the wall. So obviously we learned all this mirroring and matching and body language stuff, but I found that it's much better to get a real connection with the okay. person, to listen really well, I don't think that was on the that right stuff. one, but And what you'll notice passing. is that when you have a good connection, you could just be like, oh, we're, at, we're naturally... Naturally marrying. You're both doing that, or you're both doing that. You don't want to get caught out not listening to what she's saying. Mm -hmm. And if she does match your body language, it's an indicator of interest a lot I of the time. I think the game felt sorry for us. I wanted us to move on. Oh, here we go. I think we haven't said anything for like a minute now. Who is getting angry? Pretend to read emails of your own. <laughs> Come on, man. Grab her phone and throw it in her drink. Pretend to be taking an important call from President Robert Mugabe. Oh, that's an important call. Call her out on her phone usage. Alright, uh, we're doing the drink for first. What are you doing with my phone? Shh! What? No, 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 no! Oh, no! Halas! <laughs> Two! No! What the? Someone do something! He just put my phone in water! What the fuck? Ah! Uh, fuck! God damn it! Halas! <laughs> Get him out of here! I walked away, dude. Not the best way to handle it, right? Losing your temper and uh, destroying her phone. Nope, and he is definitely not going to get a second date out of this. Okay, let's do the President Mugabe. Hello? Ah, Robert! Hello? How are you, Mr. President? Oh, it's a pleasure to speak to you. Yeah, you will be coming to Jenny's christening? Oh, that will be wonderful. Can't wait to see you. Yeah, definitely. A pleasure. Okay, bye-bye, Robert. Who is that? It's Robert, my friend. Robert Mugabe. Your friend is Robert Mugabe? Oh, my God. Wow. Uh, mega That's work. Alright, so the old Robert Mugabe 
fun trick to show that you've also got important things going on. Good one? Well, no. And also, are you really going to answer the phone to a president during a date? Well, he's ex-president, so... Well, of someone of that important. I think it's only polite that you leave the table if it's that important. Hmm. Otherwise, it shows like you're clearly trying to show up. Ah, gotcha. How will she know? It's the president. Oh, I'm sorry, I just got a happy chat. Happy Do chat? Do you have happy chat? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yes, I have a account and my username is Teen Pussy Lover. Alright. Yes, I'll have you and I'll add you in the group with my three wives. <laughs> That's actually funny. Ask her to set up a support. Set up an account. The teenager app, you said you were mature. Alright, we'll do A and then we have to do B as well. Which one first though? I have to do B. A is <laughs> that is so fun. <laughs> you can join the group of my three wives. Wait, you're married? <laughs> but join the other group of the three whores. You will settle in perfect. No, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> You can't talk to me like that, and you're a pig. Don't hit A, okay? Oh, oh. You're a fucking creep. I'm so sick of this. Emma, that turned me on. Come here. <laughs> come here, baby. One normal day. That felt so good. Emma, come here, baby. Oh, I love her more. <laughs> okay, Mahmoud. So Mahmoud has his two uh, groups right. you know, on Happy Chat. He got them mixed up? No, he's just got the wife group and the whores group. And I think neither of them would be a, a very Suitable. inviting yeah. Yeah, proposition for a young lady. No, maybe not. All right. Uh, now I'm not going to hit A. Okay, I'm just going to go to D. Yeah, it's happy chat. Happy chat? That teenage app? <laughs> oh, Emma, you naughty girl. I thought you <laughs> said you were mature. I'm skipping A. Yeah, too. <laughs> It's okay, I like fun and games. <laughs> well, I'll hold you to that. <laughs> nice one, that's the right option. Uh, it's a bit of a challenge, and in this position you had the, you know, if you chose the wrong option, you would have been trying to play young, which is never a, a good mood for, you know, a good mood for an older guy like Mahmoud. No, you know, you should use your opportunity to show off your, you know, the fact that you can have a conversation and that you're, you know, either you're wise or well-traveled and you have something to say. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not in the best mood. I just got the worst message on Happy Chat. My friend, roommate, she's left the country and... I can't get a hold of her. I don't really can't think she's going anymore. to be helping out with any corona. of our bills. So, All right, hand her a stack of cash and ask her how many inches she wants off Big Mac. Okay, uh, we just met, but it turns out I can trust you. You won't have any problems. I trusted you, but you're only after Mahmoud's money. She's only after our money, guys. All right, we'll do a fine. For you, my darling. One stack. <laughs> Are you joking? My mistake. Two stack. You buy a hard bargain. Hmm. I have over 25 Bitcoin in my account right now. Whoa. And even if they go to zero and all my investments are gone, I'd still rather be living in the street than live as He's your rich. poor. Bitcoin shitcoin. This is what it's all about. Hmm. You are ruined. Stupid Emma! <laughs> come here! Every time. So it offers her money basically, tons of money to stay with him or something. Yeah, it's prostitution. Was it? Uh, it's, it's kind of on the borderline, isn't it, between prostitution it's the insinuation, and. Right? Uh, Having oh. sex for money. Yeah. It's kind of on the border. On the border? Wait, Bitcoin is not worth 10k anymore, right? It's actually not worth that much. It was worth a lot for a while. I trusted you, but only after Mahmoud's money. We met you, we met you but if it runs as ah, a simp answer, really do see. I can't understand. <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? 
No, I can't accept that. What? I didn't do anything. It's people all the time, all women, all you women, use, abuse me. I don't, I don't want to know. My I, mood. No. I am so oh, no. misunderstood chill, chill. that I can't chill. No. 1982, no. Jeanette from Grimsby, she used me. She took all my money and then Sarah, I don't she know who my these money. women are. And I then, think you need to go, you need help and you need a breath mint and you need to relax and I'm going, I'm just going to go to the bathroom. I can't understand why me all the time. <laughs> Poor Mahmoud. He just wants true love. <sighs> Now after that, are you gonna do it again? Alright, no, I guess. I've only just met you and, you know, if I can trust you, then, you know, things will be okay. Well, of course you can trust me, but that's unnecessary. You don't need to do that. Please. Mahmoud has a big heart and he helps people close to him. That's actually really sweet. I like hearing that. <laughs> thank you. I am all yours. Oh, you, you don't need to do that, but thank you. You're so My nice. mood is in. Cool, that's the right choice. You know, if a guy is super loaded, it's, it's a fine line between kind of flashing the money or kind of gently hinting that uh, with him you could have a really nice lifestyle and that he's generally a good guy and generous with all his friends, family and girlfriends. Yeah, I think if you can show that you are, have a nice quality about you, that you're generous, I don't think the money is important. But as long as you're a nice in character, you know, I think that will sh show, you know, I think that will show when you're talking to her. I'm a nice guy. Amul seems very nice. I need to show my unique selling points. I need to show my unique selling points, okay. Talk about how your life is settled and you're happy and you don't have any ambition to do anything more. Oh boy. Give some advice of what to do to follow her passion. Talk about prostate exam in graphic detail. Emma, did I tell you about my prostate examination check? No. Oh la la. The doctor called me. I was in, bent over. Stuck his glove on, with a little bit of lube, then finger by finger, all in, then his fist. I'm gonna go to the toilet. I was in heaven. What an experience. This is just totally unnecessary. Yeah, I agree. Get these guys away. Unnecessary. Now be polite to our guests. Okay. Give some advice on what to do to follow her passion. Or else you don't. So Emma, tell me what you plan to do with your masters. That's what I'm deciding right now. I don't know what to do. Well, I do. It's either my passion or it's money. I don't know. The corporate world isn't very fun. But my passion for helping people. Emma, you have to follow your passion, darling. You're only in your 20s. You have your life ahead of you. That's true. A pretty creature like you will go far. There's so many things I can do, and I just don't know how to choose just one. And I feel like choosing one means getting rid of all the rest. And now I'm just sitting here. Life is about sacrifices, my darling. That's true. It's exciting and scary. Mahmoud's so smart. Nice one, that's good. Here you're doing something that, you know, the young guys couldn't do. You're giving uh, life Feature. advice because obviously Mahmoud has lived a long, rich and interesting life. Yeah, and it shows that a differential between him and the young guy. And you should take, you know, that's your strength. You should play to your strengths in this situation. What do you think of older guys? I think they have the upper hand. They've got, they're more interesting. They've got something to talk about often. Um, I think it can work definitely in their favor. 25 minutes later. You know, to be honest, Mahmoud, I was a little skeptical when I first got here. I was about to leave, but 
there was just something about you that was really sweet. <laughs> <and> really? <laughs> I'm really glad I gave you a second chance because otherwise we wouldn't have had this nice evening. I'm glad I stayed. Okay. I think she's well, um, maybe a little bit loaded. I'm maybe. Sensing there's, you know, a little spark missing. You know, maybe it's the age gap or, you know, I don't know, but, you know, I have a suggestion for you. Okay. What would that be? Invite her to become one of your unpaid whores. Invite her, <laughs> invite her to a charity party. Okay, guys, Emma, I already know. Why don't you become one of my unpaid whores? Where you get to cook, you learn how to clean, and you get all the practice in the world for when you do meet someone you like, you have everything. High five! <laughs> oh. No, thank you. It hurt. I take that as a no then. I'd rather eat glass. No, not the best idea for a date invitation, obviously. Emma, I have an exclusive invitation for Amnesty International at Sotheby's. Why don't you be my guest? There's very well to do an important people there. and You can wear that lovely dress and there'll be a lot of fine artwork and fine dining. So yeah, you know, if, um, if a date hasn't gone fantastically or you're inviting someone on, on, on another meeting and, you know, you're not so sure if they'll say yes, if you have some really cool date idea, whether it's something super fancy or just something really interesting, or if you invite other people as well, like her friends, then it's uh, a way to get a more likely yes than kind of a romantic one-on-one -on -one second date. No, and it lengthens your opportunity to get to know her a bit more. Because one of the biggest attraction builders is just time spent together, and uh, yeah, I got you know, the charity is my more too. Why not? That really sounds like the night of my life, but well, yeah, I I'll think about it for sure. I'll definitely text you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you didn't get the best ending for poor old what? Mahmoud, but. He might see her again if she doesn't find something better to do. So you could have done better. Could have done better, could have done worse. Wrong ending. Emma, I am so sorry, my darling. I have a very important business meeting. You're such a lovely yeah, no, girl. Yeah, it's time for me to go and, as well. You know, I will make sure that you get home safely, oh, okay? No, Don't no, worry no, about anything. No, no, Max! It's not necessary. <laughs> I, can get my, I can get my own Max. way. It's hey, come on! I, like I will get you home. No, no, Max, no. get... It's unnecessary. Are you Thank sure? You. Of course, yes. The oh, fuck? Mahmoud actually can get home with the girl? Can't pick the meme answers then. Oh wait! Oh wait! Bonus quest! We lost for a reason guys. This is why. God damn. Oh! This one looks more friendly. <laughs> this is another Tinder date? Oh no, that was it. I thought I was gonna go away. That Again, was the second catfishing. one. It's never gonna happen. You're gonna turn up. Average and Joe again. You. I really really she turns up. Got the better girl. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe. Didn't talk to her yet. Personality is what matters, guys. Alright, strip club is the next one, but yeah, it's 11, uh, it's 10.30 p.m. here, guys. We're gonna have to call it, but it was fun, doing a little bit of Super Zeuser. My hand does hurt, but I got the rest of it a bit, so I think it's gonna be probably gonna be for tomorrow. Uh, <clears throat> I will be, uh, I will be back, uh, tomorrow, though, guys. I, um, yeah, today was a decent day. 5 and 2 in Dota, plays with Super Zeuser. We'll set off a day for Sekiro, guys. I'll announce it a little bit before for people that actually follow that. 
so uh, more, so as many people that follow the story can be there as possible, etc. But yeah, no more for me tonight. I'm gonna go eat and sleep. Thank you guys for tuning in as usual. Peace out, boys. Take it easy. Love you guys. Bye bye.